So Darren, um, you was a language teacher um, some time ago um, before the world of Microsoft Teams um, had come about. Um, so just to sort of uh, go over Microsoft Teams really with you and so sort of the benefits that it brings to extend in the classroom. So Teams, uh, just for sort of a quick overview for anyone who's not that familiar with it, um, is a way to extend the classroom with conversations so you can talk to other students in the group, the teacher can uh, collaborate uh, with groups of students. There's a class notebook where the, where the teacher can put their head over the shoulder of each student and see what work they've been working on, assignments to uh, set work. I don't know where we start, Darren, it's so big to uh, <laughs> the different things you can do in there. I guess one thing sort of to, to, to start with, um, as as we were talking about before, going left to right in Teams across the tabs, uh, conversations in Teams. You know, why would you use that in a classroom? You know, um, what benefits does it bring to extending the classroom and actually just using it inside lesson as well? So, um, if you think about what happens in a normal classroom, I, I was a, a language teacher and an IT teacher, um, but whether you're doing sort of French or English or history. Um, one of the things that is central to, 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 to good lessons, to good teaching and learning experiences is communication. It's interactivity within that classroom. Now that's, that's communication between the teacher and the students uh, and also uh, pupil to pupil as well, that them, them working in, in, in pairs or working in small teams to, to do things together. So obviously in the languages classroom, you do that a lot. You pair people together, they do a bit of role play. Uh, sometimes you put people in groups of four, you get them sat around a table and they get a big piece of paper and they all kind of get a pen and they draw on it and, and they're talking to each other and they're working together. Uh, and it, of course, you know, in, in, in French or German or whatever, you would hope that some of that would be in, in, in the target language that, that, that you're trying to teach. Um, similarly, you know, if, if you're in a, a history uh, lesson, you're going to be doing empathy exercises. Again, there's going to be role plays. English, you're going to be having people doing conversations. So these are all things that happen in a classroom. Um, teams and conversations allow those things to happen more and sometimes in a better way. So obviously, if, if you've got kids next to each other, that's the best way to do it. You know, physically have them sat next to each other. Um, but if you want to extend that away from the classroom, if you want them to do that, maybe as a piece of homework that you want them to get together and work or something or, or, or just talk about something, talk about a topic, you can do that away from the classroom. They can do it at home. They can do it in the park. They can do it on the bus. Uh, you know, they can just have a chat like, like we're having and, and, and you know, perhaps record that. And that could be part of their, their evidence that they can upload. Um, th there are some real benefits, though, to doing things in an electronic way when you're having conversations. If you think about students um, and that thing that you've got a class of, you know, perhaps 30 students and a teacher asks a question, how many students actually put their hands up, uh, you know, w with an answer and they compare that to how many students do have an answer, but they're just uh, afraid, they're a bit scared maybe to put their hands up in front of their peers. One of the things that I've noticed over the years, and this this is true in, in, in conversations in teams as well, but, you know, it, it's true in, in other systems you can use. If you allow students um, to say what they've got to say, to give their opinion um, by typing it in in a kind of messaging system like you've got in, in conversations, then they feel more confident to do it because now they're not talking in front of 30 of their peers. So some of these students are really, really uncomfortable talking in front of other students, especially in a foreign language, right? I, I know that's what mm. you've got to do, but you don't have to do it in front of the whole class. You can do it in, in smaller groups. If you're using the, the conversations in teams, then those, those students can find their voice. They can say what they've got to say in a confident way. Uh, and they they don't need to worry about what the other students are going to think about the, you know, their accent or do they say something stupid? Because what you can do, and I do this often myself, you go in, you say what you've got to say, and then you look at it and you think, oh no, I shouldn't have said that. And you can actually go back and you can you can edit it and 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 change it uh, a little bit and and refine your answer. Um, so it's it's a much more comfortable way of doing things. And they did they did a a, a research project years ago called the, the Invisible Child Project. And it was talking about, you know, kids that kind of were noticed by the teacher, possibly because of either really good behavior and attainment or, or 
not necessarily good behavior uh, and then those kind of students that kind of disappeared you need you kind of maybe you might even forget their names after a while because you never heard from them those students deserve to have a voice um and having conversations securely in a walled garden within within teams is is one way to do that it's it's, it's quite interesting you so you mentioned earlier as well about um um this they have these conversations in the classroom anyway uh, on the bus in the park whatever um, and i know that some teachers that i know would be a bit concerned about you know what if somebody's um bullying them online or they're messing about in there um and so sort of the issues managing that but um i guess i guess um as you've explained previously they could do this stuff in a completely unmonitored space yeah. outside of the classroom and it wouldn't be audited it wouldn't be logged um and nobody would know about it i guess this is a bit more secure um however there might be some teachers who aren't using their team and um, what are the issues with managing sort of the monitoring of it and what 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 students can actually do in there yeah so uh, teachers have a, a number of controls that they can use for their class as a teacher you're in charge of your own class you manage it just like you do a real classroom um, so one thing you can do for example if you're a teacher that isn't ready to do this you want to use the other features of uh, of teams like the, the files and, and, and class notebook and assignments then you could just mute all those students in that class you could literally say i'm going to select them all none of those students now have the ability to um, partake in in those conversations uh, and then you know as you as you grow more confident as in in this this approach as a teacher uh, and as you get to know your students better as, as the year goes on maybe you open that up and you say okay actually we're going to open this up we're going to give this a go um maybe we'll just open it up for the duration of the lesson or we'll we'll open it you know today's tuesday we'll leave it open till thursday and we'll close it down on thursday just so it's it's a narrow window so that in that period you 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 know that you need to be looking at what's being said in those conversations um so you, you've got options like that and there are various other things you you can control kind of the the, the filtering of of you know you can add these giffies and emojis and all the rest of it yeah. the, the, the fun settings you, you can control how fun your, your <laughs> you can is. turn off the fun in your <laughs> you can turn off the fun if, if, if you want to um and for me it's about trust i i i I always trust students initially and then sometimes if they if they do something that uh, isn't great um, you can have a quiet word with them uh, and perhaps they'll lose the ability to, to communicate in there for a couple of days so you know if a particular student let's say that, that somebody's having a bad day and they're doing something uh, a bit daft today you can mute them and you can say right I'm going to mute you for one week I'll unmute you in, in a week's time and you can have another go at, at being sensible you can you can actually use this as a pastoral tool <laughs> you know you can you can actually um use it as a way of uh, of teaching students in a safe way about the consequences of you know things like bullying and and just being you know just be nice yeah because if this happens on facebook nobody's ever going to know about it um they could keep it to themselves it's completely um unmonitored and and not logged because uh, every conversation in teams is is audited so there's always give you a trace of it even if the teacher doesn't spot it initially and um, so i guess i guess that's a good thing and you know if you think about things like snapchat what, one of the things I, I i don't like about that is that you can send something really horrible and then delete it and it's gone before anybody can see it and you can't even get screenshots of it to prove that yeah, some, yeah. so that's the, 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 yeah. awful um there's such an opportunity for bullying there uh, whereas if you're using the the conversations in teams, it's a walled garden, um, your name is against everything. And one of the policies that can be set is you can say that once somebody has said something, they cannot delete it and they cannot edit it. That's that's a choice that you have as a as a school. And in that case, the students need to know if they say something which is inappropriate at some stage, they will be caught. The teacher might not see it right away. Um, but within a couple of days, they will notice it or, or, you know, one of the other students will tell the teacher that's happened uh, and they they will get in trouble. And, you know, your normal school sanctions uh, uh, apply. This isn't an extra thing. This this needs to be part of your your schools working with the Internet policy, working with the Internet. 
uh, this needs to be part of your, your school behaviour policy.